The 2019 Ford Explorer Limited. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to go over all the standard equipment as well as optional equipment that's available on that limited trim of the 2019 Ford Explorer. We're kind of ex excited about this trim level because it brings a package that is new for 2019 that's going to really take this limited and almost give you a lot of the features for the Platinum from the previous year. So you're gonna just sit back, we're gonna kinda go over some of those uh, things here later in the video, but we are real excited about this trim. First, we're gonna talk about some of the standard equipment uh, and then again, optional equipment. Now down in the description, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll have the timestamps as we go around the vehicle, uh, as we go at different parts on the outside as well as the inside and the different packages as well. And I'll even give you the prices for those packages down there too. So definitely refer to that. Uh, move around in the video. If you get bored with one section, want to keep moving on, go ahead and hit those timestamps and you can move on through the video. Uh, hopefully that'll make this uh, break up a little bit. There is going to be a lot of talking. I am very thorough with this video, so I will go over every uh, feature that is standard on your limited. And then when I talk about optional equipment too, I'll go over every different option that is available according to the order guide from Ford. So. Again, sit back and enjoy this video. First, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to talk about safety real quick. Uh, and uh, now this is going to be all the same safety features you're going to have on all your Explorers as well as almost all your Ford vehicles uh, alike, especially your SUVs. So first I want to talk about is your dual stage front airbag. So you're going to have a different size airbag deploy there from the front of the vehicle depends on how close you are to the steering wheel. You're also going to get side impact airbag for the driver and front passenger. It's going to deploy that airbag from those side collisions there. You're also going to get your uh, dry, the passenger side, you're going to get a knee airbag as well. So it's going to come out of that glove box, deploy that airbag uh, from those front collisions. Also, you're going to get the side canopy airbag bag there that's going to deploy down from the roof. Also, also, it's going to have your rollover sensors too. So if you have that rollover, it's going to deploy that. Now, we'll have advanced track with roll stability control. So hopefully it'll help you keep your on your intended path and really helps out on those slick driving roads or maybe you go into those curves a little too fast. That advanced track will help keep you on that your, uh, your intended path as well as your curve control will help with that too. So some great safety features on this. It does come with the SOS post crash alert system which will honk the horns and flash the lights if you're off the road in an accident uh, also you're going to have your 911 assist so that'll help you call 911 directly if you do get an accident so and uh, this will also have your e-pass electronic power assist steering as well that's going to stiffen up that steering when you're on the highway so that wind doesn't push you around from side to side but when you're in those parking lots driving a little bit slower, it's, it's going to be a lot easier for you to turn into those uh, different spots and turn that steering wheel. So again, some great safety precautions that have taken place for you uh, on all your Ford vehicles, but especially in your Explorers. Now, as I move to the front, spend a little bit of time talking about the different drivetrains and the engines that are available for your Explorers. They are going to come standard in front wheel drive, but you can get the optional four wheel drive. And if you do go with that four wheel drive, it will come with that intelligent four wheel drive system with your terrain management system. So it's a great system where you can go ahead and shift it right there by your console for the different terrains that you have. And the Explorers have had this out. It's one of the few vehicles in the Ford lineup that has that terrain management system in there, making it a little bit easier to go ahead and shift it for the different conditions. We've seen it kind of roll out in the Expeditions with the new 18 Expedition, uh, but the Explorers have had that system for quite a while and works really well. Now the standard engine, uh, which is a little bit different in your base and your XLT, is going to be the 2.3 liter four-cylinder EcoBoost engine. Now that engine is going to deliver 280 horsepower, 310 pound-feet of torque. So a lot of power behind that, a lot of torque I should say, uh, getting you up and going real quickly. Now the optional engine for this is the 3.5 liter V6 engine. Now it's a little bit different because that's the standard engine for your XL or your base I should say in your XLT. Uh, the reason it's optional on your limited, it comes with the class three trailer tow package as well. So if you're wanting to tow, this is the engine you're gonna wanna have. It's gonna deliver 290 horsepower, 255 pound-feet of torque. So a little bit less torque, but it's gonna be able to tow those trailers a little bit better. And it's gonna come with the class three, or class, yeah, the class three receiver hitch. And all the towing, your, your trailer sway control and everything is gonna come along with that. Uh, so that's how you're gonna want that. So if you want that class three trailer tow hitch, the, you're gonna wanna go with that 3.5 liter. Now, uh, for fuel economy, let's talk about the two different engines. Your 2.3 liter with the front wheel drive is gonna get you about 19 miles per gallon in the city, about 27 miles per gallon on the highway. And then for your four wheel drives with the 2.3, you're gonna see about one less. So you're gonna see about uh, 18 miles per gallon in the city and about 25 miles per gallon on the highway. Now for that 3.5 liter V6 engine, uh, for the front wheel drives, you're gonna see about uh, 
17 miles per gallon in the city and about 24 miles per gallon on the highway. And then when you go to the all-wheel drive with that engine, you're going to see 16 miles per gallon in the city and about 22 miles per gallon on the highway. So that's all the, of course, the estimates for you. It just really depends on your driving conditions and weather conditions and that kind of thing on what kind of fuel economy you're going to receive with that. So let's go ahead and talk about the styling now on the front of this. Now, what's really nice about your limiteds, it does get upgraded quite a bit with some nice chrome accents. So you're going to see that with the silver inserts here uh, in the grill with the chrome bars that goes across there. So great look. Uh, to that gives it a nice luxury look there as well. You're going to see some chrome accent down here on the bumper as well. So it's kind of goes across there. That's going to be a nice upgrade from your XLT. And the silver uh, front skid plate up here, that silver painted up there to kind of protect the front of it and give it a nice look up there. You will get front sensing system as standard equipment on the limited. Also, it's going to get your front 180 degree camera with a washer. So that is a nice upgrade. I think in the past you had to go up to a package to get the front uh, front camera up there now it's going to be standard equipment on your uh, your limited so real nice upgrade there talk about your headlights for a second it does have your LED low beam automatic headlights uh, so the LEDs are going to be so much brighter it's also going to come with the LED signature lighting around those headlights it is going to have a halogen a high beam light for you as well and then uh, automatic feature means can come on automatically as it gets dark uh, and then wiper activated also means when you turn those wipers on your headlights will come on down here you're going to have led fog lights as well for you so some real nice lights to go around this and of course you're going to see a lot of leds throughout the vehicle even led tail lights as we get around to there uh, so that's going to be a really nice feature for you as well laminated glass here for your windshield as well as the front windows so it just makes it a little bit quieter for you on that ride now as we move around to the side, you're going to see the standard wheels, a 20 inch premium luster nickel painted aluminum wheel. So that is a standard wheel, nice 20 inch wheel. Uh, this, this particular wheel is part of a package we're going to talk about in just a little bit. Also this uh, mirror cap is going to look a little bit different. So we're talking about the mirrors, you're going to get body colored mirror cap, standard equipment on your limiteds, turn signal indicators on the outside, they are LEDs with a security approach lamp that's going to light the ground beside the vehicle as well. And then you're going to have your power heated glass as well and an auto dimming driver side view mirror. That means it's going to dim that mirror. Those cars are going to come behind you uh, with those bright lights there. Uh, so that'll really help it out as well. You will get also standard equipment on your limiteds now is your bliss system with cross traffic alert. So that's your blind spot information system for Ford. And the way that works is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror on that side and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. If you happen to be backing up, if someone's going to cross your path behind you, maybe in a grocery store or something like that, it's going to go ahead and alert you with the light in the corner of that mirror. It also puts a message on the dash showing you that it, they're either approaching from the left or the right in a series of tones that it's not safe to back up. So great system. Love how that works together and that is the standard equipment on your limits. This does also have intelligent access. allows you to be able to leave that key fob in your pocket. You just walk up, put your hands in a door handle. It's going to automatically unlock the vehicle for you, allow you to get in and out. When you do get out and you lock the door by pressing the knob right here, it's going to lock the vehicle up and auto fold those mirrors into place. It just looks real sharp on the vehicle and it also does have keypad on the pillar here. So if you want to access the vehicle, maybe you don't have the keys on you and get in the vehicle, you can, or you don't leave the keys inside, you can use the keypad to enter and exit the vehicle that way too. So that's a real nice system. Now talk about some of the uh, nice chrome accents on the side. The lower rocker molding has chrome accent as well as your door handles and your roof rack side rails will also be chrome accented too on all your limiteds. So it looks real nice. Privacy glass in these back windows and the back corner windows as well as the back glass keeps it cooler for those in the second and the third row seat. Also looks real nice on the vehicle and gives you some privacy as well. So uh, again, some great uh, luxury features. We're going to dive into some uh, interior features in just a little bit, but let's continue around to the back. So as we move to the back, you're going to see a body colored rear spoiler back here. Also rear defrost with rear wiper. Nice chrome accent with the Explorer um, etched in there and that right through the middle of that lift gate there. Down here you're going to see body colored bumpers. Uh, does have a molded in down here right where you're going to see reverse sensing uh, right there. With And then don't forget you have your rear view camera located up here with the, the washer as well. So you have a front and backup camera with the washer and front and backup sensor. So it will alert you whether you're going forward or backwards as you get closer and closer to different items. Uh, and then be able to see, of course, going forward or back. Uh, the upgrade for your limited on this uh, here on the bumper is this molded in black with a nice chrome accent that goes around that. So that's a little upgrade from your XLT to your limited. It does have the silver painted rear skid plate back here with your dual chrome tip exhaust as well. And then uh, this one is your 3.5 liter uh, V6 engine. So it does have your class three 
uh, tray the tow package with your receiver hitch. This here is going to cover that up right back here and give it a nice look. If you do have the 2-3 and you go with the optional uh, class 2 uh, tray the tow package, it'll also have that cover for that uh, class 2 receiver hitch as well. Now this does have your power lift gate. You can use your remote to open it that way. You can also use the button right here and it's going to power it up or you can even use your foot. This does have the hands-free uh, foot activated lift gate. So that is standard equipment on your limited. So with this tow package, I do go a little bit, sometimes in the middle, it doesn't always activate, but if you go somewhere right about right in here on either side, you should be good. So let's go ahead and give it a kick and it should open that up for us as we just back up. So you'll see that uh, real nice and easy. Now back here, these still do have a rear independent suspension they have for years. So because of that, you're gonna have a great ride in the vehicle having that rear independent suspension, but it also gives you some nice flexibility because it's gonna have a low uh, load level in here for you to be able to store things underneath those third row seats if you want to, uh, and then even give those in a third row seat a little bit more leg room than you would have uh, normally on a midsize SUV. Also, it allows you to be able to fold these seats flat to the floor. When you go to limited, you get the power fold third row seats, 50-50 split bench seats. There are switches over here on the left side, so you have normal stow would be to stow it down in there. If you just want to fold the seats, you would fold uh, them down just to lay the seats down, and then you can pick left, right, or both. Now, keep in mind you will need to lower these headrests just by pulling these straps, so we'll do that real quick on both of them. And then we're just going to lower both of these at the same time so you have a good idea. It's already on both and we'll just hit the stow right there. And it's going to go ahead and just power them down there for us. Comes in real handy when you have your hands full of groceries, different things like that. It's going to go ahead and just uh, lower it down so you don't have to uh, keep holding the button or anything. Just press and release and it's going to fold it flat. And it does give you a flat load level in here completely through. And you can even lay those uh, second row seats down uh, when you open the doors on the side and lay those down if you need to. And that'll continue to give you a flat load level all the way up to those front seats up there. So we'll go ahead and hit the normal button and it'll put them back into position for us. You also know back here there's a power point. So if you need to power any kind of electric devices, even those in the third row, if they want, they can pull those phone cords back there and power them back here as well. And then it does also come with the cargo netting. Uh, if you want to put the cargo net in here, it's gonna, there's four positions right here. Put that cargo netting in there and that way it won't, uh, you can put the small items and then they won't roll around underneath the seat if you want to. So that's also gonna be standard equipment. Uh, for you as well, as well as your carpeted mats, which we'll get to a little bit more when we get inside. You will get a uh, first and second row carpeted mats to go along with this. Now moving to the inch here, I want to show you kind of the uh, the inch here a little bit. Now on this particular, I'm going to show you the dash across here on this particular vehicle. Now you get two different color interiors. You can get either your ebony black interior, which is kind of what you're seeing with this particular vehicle across the, the front of it. So your your doors are going to be black. Basically your dash, the lower part glove box, everything will be black, uh, as well as your steering wheel there. Uh, so that's going to be all ebony black as well as your carpet. And then your seats will also be your ebony black. So when you go with that interior, that's what it's going to look like. Now also I'm going to give you a shot uh, from Ford's website of what that medium light stone looks like. That's the other option for you because what it's going to do is it's going to take that glove box and it's going to give you that, that medium light stone color as well as the lower part of your doors underneath the trim will be that way as well as your arm pulls and then your seats will be the medium light stone as well. Now what you're seeing with this particular vehicle we'll talk about in just a little bit. It is part of a package that limited luxury package. Uh, but So the two different color interiors, you get the standard equipment on your limiteds, uh, and they're gonna be upgraded with your premium leather seats uh, from your XLT to your limited. So they are gonna be an upgraded with the perforations in those. You're gonna get heated and cooled seats here for the driver and front passenger, dual power seats. So 10 way for the driver and front passenger, including your power lumbar, as well as your power backrest. So you're gonna have that uh, standard equipment up here. Your second row is going to be a 60-40 split bench seat, like you're seeing with this one, uh, with different, of uh, course, leather materials for you. Those two outside seats will get heated seats as standard equipment on all your limiteds. Uh, you're going to have that, and you have an armrest that comes out with a, and a middle backrest uh, that's going to have two cup holders in it as well. And then behind this console, you're going to also see the climate controls there for those in the rear. You're also going to get a 110 outlet and two USB ports as standard equipment, all positioned back there. And you do also have a little uh, cup holder that you can pull out from the bottom part of that console as well. 
And then the back seat, seats uh, two back there, 60, 50-50 uh, split bench seat, uh, as we talk, uh, talked about earlier, and you have a couple cup holders for those in the third row seat as well. And then to get into that, uh, it's really nice because you do have the seats can fold on both sides to allow you to get access to the back, so you don't have to do it from one side or another. Uh, the 40% side on this bench seat does uh, slide forward and back, uh, but not the 60% side there. And we'll talk about different optional bucket seats for the second row in just a little bit. Now here on the door, you're going to have your power windows, locks, mirror switches, including auto one touch for those windows. In fact, this does have remote uh, control for your front windows and your uh, moonroof if you get the optional moonroof using a remote control when you're outside the vehicle too. And you're going to have driver memory here for three different drivers, and that's going to memorize your seat, your mirrors, and your steering wheel positions. Now we're going to talk about that next. Leather wrap steering wheel uh, for you. You're going to get a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So electronically, that steering wheel will go up and down forward and back so you can get it just right so that it comes in real handy for you. You can position that seat exactly how close you need it and then you can adjust the steering wheel to, uh, to work for the length of your arms there. Now on the left side of the steering wheel you're going to see your cruise control there on the bottom and on the right side on the bottom of those controls you're going to see your volume controls and your Bluetooth controls right there. You, two, uh, you see two D-pads. The one on the left side is going to control your productivity information and settings on the left side of your speedometer. The D-pad on the right side is going to control your Microsoft Sync technologies on the right side of that speedometer. So you can uh, control those right here from this screen and you don't have to move over to the center stack, which we're going to talk about in just a little bit. So real nice uh, black accent, a high gloss finish there, uh, as well as both sides of the console. And I, I didn't forget to mention the nice appliques in here. They are satin chrome applique uh, with the rosewood accents in there too, trim. You can see that on the door, it kind of goes across the dash uh, and it kind of you know separates from the center console but it continues across and just looks real sharp in the vehicle now let's talk about the center stack here and it does have your push button start to the left of that also it's going to have dual zone climate control for the driver and front passenger up here so they can have two different temperatures you're going to see your heat and cool buttons are going to be right there as well and you're going to see those on the screen too Sony audio sound system, a 390 watt audio sound system with 12 speakers, so real nice AM FM player, it's going to have HD radio, Sirius XM satellite radio as well, uh, so all those capabilities, you're going to have a nice touch screen that's going to come along with that, with the Microsoft, uh, or the uh, Sync 3 system, I should say, not by Microsoft, so that Sync 3 is going to be really nice because you it's the third generation voice enhanced recognition system we can control by touch screen or by audio controls, your audio, your uh, climate, your, your phone, even your navigation, this is going to come standard equipment with your uh, navigation system with the pinch and zoom capabilities so your touch screen nav uh, with the XM Sirius traffic and travel link as well that comes along with that and then when you of course uh, we kind of saw a little bit earlier but your front backup camera is going to come into view on this full 8 inch screen when you put when you have the vehicle in either drive or forward and you hit that camera button or if you're in reverse it's going to show up on this screen here so real nice uh, touch screen and audio sound system here for you up here in the mirror you get auto dimming rear view mirror as standard equipment you have garage openers as well for the three different garage doors on the visor up here again standard equipment on all your limiteds and then let's talk about some of the different compartments in this uh, console here. You do have a spot up here, we call this the media hub. You just push that button, it's gonna lift it up. You're gonna have a USB port in there, a smart USB port. Room to be able to put uh, different phones, devices you want to. You see a little slot on the side over there. So you can slide those cords through there if you wanna keep that shut uh, and make it all look real nice. Uh, you can do that as well down in there. And then this console here, you do have a, a switch for that. You can open that up. It is uh, going to be leather wrapped as well for you. Open that up. You're going to have another PowerPoint in, or a USB port, I should say, in there. You can open that door and you can see that, as well as you're going to have a compartment to put different things in down in there as well, a bigger compartment to store things. You're going to see slots on both sides for those cords. If you want to plug it in here, have the cord come through, you can as well, and have that console shut and it won't pinch those cords there. And then this does have four wheel drive, so you can see that train management system is right here in front of the console so you can see how that works. Also this does have, I did mention earlier, select shift transmission is standard equipment on all your explorers. If you want to put in that sport mode or the S shift down there you can uh, use the uh, plus and minus on the side of the shift knob here to be able to shift it up and down like a manual transmission and that's where you're going to see that right there. 
ambient lighting as well. You can light up the cup holders, the footwells, and the door handles. You can change a different uh, atmosphere there with the different colors. Uh, we keep it on the blue from the factory, uh, but you can change it to different colors as well through your Microsoft or the uh, Sync screen up here, the Sync 3 screen as well. You're going to have illuminated door sill plates, not only in the front uh, doors, but also the rear doors. So they are really nice and bright finish with the Explorer in there. Those are going to be, uh, that's I think standard equipment on just your limited. So when you go up to limited, you're going to get that as well. So some great equipment and everything we've talked about so far is standard equipment. Oh, one other thing I want to talk about uh, is standard equipment as well is the Ford Pass Connect. So this is a great system where you can stay connected to your uh, vehicle using the Ford Pass app. So it's a, a app you download, put your vehicle in there and your own special code, and that way you can have access to your vehicle. You can do all kinds of things with this app. I love using it. You can remote start your vehicle from anywhere using the app. You can actually unlock and lock your vehicle as well using that and be able to just uh, right there on the main screen of that so for that vehicle. Uh, you can also go into more details. You can actually hit the vehicle details there and you can go into a little bit more access as well, including locating your vehicle with a map right there. So you know where it's at at all times. Maybe if you're not that that game, you come out of the game, can't remember what section you parked in, you can pull the app up and you can locate your vehicle that way. You can also schedule remote start time. So if you want to have a remote start every morning, uh, like I've set up for my vehicle, you can do that as well. Remote start your vehicle from, uh, you can schedule that remote start times, I should say, right there. You can see the mileage, the fuel economy on your vehicle and everything through the app. You can even, it comes with a free Wi-Fi hotspot for up to 10 different devices as well. Uh, you will have to uh, buy a subscription for unlimited plan after the first three months are up or three gigabytes, whichever comes first, uh, but you can order that as well. And you can still get feature, those features from the 4Pass app without getting the Wi-Fi hotspot. So if that's something you don't want to purchase, you still get all those other features using the embedded modem in the vehicle. So great system. I love how that works. Uh, and that's going to come standard equipment on your limited explorers. So I think you'll really like some of these uh, standard equipment. And let's go ahead and talk about some different optional equipment that's available as well. Now the first package I want to talk about is this limited luxury package. Now uh, we've been kind of talking about a little bit about this. It is new for 2019 and uh, we're ordering about all of our limiteds with this package on it because it really takes that limited and gives it a nice feel of the platinum edition. If you've uh, seen any, any information on the platinums, you're going to see a lot of different things on this uh, package that's going to remind you of that platinum edition. So a uh, real nice package for you. Now it is of course optional on any of your limiteds. It uh, doesn't require anything. Uh, one one thing it will do is it will upgrade if you get this package to the rear inflatable the rear inflatable seat belts which are optional equipment is going to upgrade and give you those outbound seat belts to be rear inflatable as well that's part of this package uh, that is going to be uh, requires you to do so we'll actually add that cost onto your uh, onto the limited luxury package uh, it's not going to be included within this package but it does require you to order them as optional equipment so keep that in mind too now it's going to upgrade these wheels, 20 inch wheels. This is the premium painted aluminum wheel. In fact, if you watch, this is the same wheel that's standard on your Platinum Editions. So this is your Platinum wheels, what we like to call it here at Law MacArthur, with that magnetic painted pockets, real sharp looking wheel that's going to be standard equipment. Also chrome mirror caps as well. So now it's going to upgrade. So you'll have the chrome mirror caps, door handles, uh, the roof rack rails, as well as the lower rocker molding to really finish out the outside of it and give it a real nice luxury look. On the inside, the biggest uh, feature you're going to see as an upgrade is going to be the Nirvana leather trim seat. The same leather you're getting with the Platinum Edition. It has the quilted bolsters in those seats as well and uh, really upgrades those. Those front seats will also get the active motion with the massaging seat features for those front seats. So real nice active motion. You can, you can go ahead and, and, and get that going by pressing your lumbar button and it's going to go ahead and pull it up where you can adjust the lumbar on the backrest. I think three different places as well as then kick it over and you can get, set up those massaging seat features to have the, the, the seat cushion as well as the seat back massage for you while you're on your drive. Also the door inserts are going to be upgraded as well. You're going to see the quilted bolsters so it kind of takes the interior trim and the door as well and upgrades it for the front as well as the back doors. And then it's going to upgrade your leather wrap steering wheel to an, uh, what they call an upgraded leather. It is a nice soft leather that you're going to really enjoy. And I forgot to mention standard equipment on all these is going to be your heated steering wheel as well. But it really upgrades the steering wheel on this too. So again, we really love this package. We're ordering on all of our limiteds because it's really just almost a no-brainer. Gives you a nice platinum feel without having the platinum cost. 
The last package I want to talk about before we get into standalone options is the Ford Safe and Smart Package. Also optional in your limiteds. Uh, it is compatible with your uh, the, the limited luxury package as well. And this is going to give you some great safety features. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to the next model year where this is probably going to be standard equipment on all your vehicles. But this is a package you can order on your limiteds as well. Of course, this is uh, actually available on about any of your trims. So it's going to include some great features. The first one to talk about is your adaptive cruise control with a stop and go. So adaptive cruise control, the way that works is if you have the gap setting on your steering wheel, you can go ahead and adjust that and then as you pull up behind someone, uh, it'll slow you down to go their speed so you don't rear in them. If, it, if they resume and go a little bit faster, it'll resume or if you pass them, it's safe to resume, it'll do that as well. And also comes with the front, col front collision warning with brake support as well. So if there's someone in uh, if you don't have your cruise set and there's someone going much slower than you and you're going over 30 miles an hour, it's going to go ahead and put the lights on the, the front of the, the, the dash up here on the, the windshield as well as a series of tones that person is not, that, you're, that you're not stopping and they're going much slower than you also initiates brake support as well to go along with that. So that kind of lessens that severity of that accident. So that's a great uh, feature to have. Also your lane keeping system. So this is great, includes three great features. Your driver alert is part of this package, so if you leave your hands off the steering wheel for too long or it needs to use the system too often it alerts you with a, a message on there maybe telling you you need, maybe you need to pull off and get some coffee or something like that uh, and that, that'll kind of alert you also it does have a lane departure uh, alert as well so if you leave your lane it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane so especially if you're not paying attention maybe you're wandering off looking at the scenery it'll alert you and let you know that now if you actually put it in the aid, aid setting you, know, you can put it in alert aid or both and what that's going to do is if you try to depart from your lane it's going to actually try to keep you in your lane and use this torque vectoring to do that and keep you in your lane as well so that's some great features that are included within this lane keeping system that's uh, really nice there for you also you can get rain sensing wipers as well that's standard equipment on or the standard on this uh, this equipment package i should say and what that's gonna, what's great about that is if it starts to rain it's going to if you have your windshield wipers in the, one of those intermittent settings or the auto settings it's going to go ahead and turn those wipers on for you so as it rains a little harder it will turn them on faster so uh, that that's something that's going to be a great feature within this. Also auto high beams, a lot like your automatic headlights except for your high beams. So when there's no one in front of you, it's dark enough, it's going to go ahead and turn those high beams on. If you're in the city lights or if your car is approaching you, it's going to go ahead and turn them off. So now the auto high beams as well as the rain sensing wipers are two features that can be activated and deactivated in your settings screen. So you would just go into the lighting for your auto high beams or the wiper settings for your uh, rain sensing wipers and you can uh, deactivate and activate them. So if you notice they're not coming on or not working, you might go in there and make sure that they are set. Sometimes the dealerships don't always set those from the factory. So this is a great package. Again, is optional on all your limiteds. Now we're going to talk about some standalone options. And the first one to talk about really is a, uh, they call it a package, um, but it really is that receiver hitch. And that's that class two trailer tow package it gets you the class two uh, receiver hitch back there with the wiring. Uh, and that's going to be, it does require you to have the 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine. Uh, as we talked about, that 3.5 V6 will come with the Class 3 uh, trailer tow package. Uh, of course, it is a, a cost that is incurred, but it requires you to have that package on your 3.5. So that's how you get the Class 2 trailer tow package. Now, also, you can get some different wheels. You can get a 20-inch polished aluminum wheel. So it just kind of changes that nickel finish to a polished. So really uh, for the uh, limited, you do have three different wheel options, depends on uh, the different look and feel. And of course, uh, this one we've seen with this particular vehicle is part of that, that limited uh, package, that luxury package there. Now also you can get an engine block heater as well as optional equipment. In the past, it was uh, optional for, it was standard in some states and then optional in other states that wanted it. Uh, now it's optional in all states, so it's not standard on, on some of those other states. So if you live in a cold weather state, this might be something to add to your vehicle to help you start the vehicle up. Also, let's talk about another optional equipment, and that is the Enhanced Active Park Assist. Now, this is a park assist that includes three great features. I do have a video under our how-to videos on our playlist on our YouTube channel, so check that out. Exactly how this works as an inside as well as, well as an outside perspective. And what's great about this package, it helps you parallel park the vehicle, also will uh, park out. So if you get in a tight parking spot, it'll help you get out of those tight parking spots by controlling all the steering. 
and it will reverse perpendicular park your vehicle. So it's a great system. Again, in that video, I explain how all three of those systems work and, and show you and demonstrate those for you. So definitely check that out. So it's a great, it's gonna give you the side sensors as well as the front and back sensors. So it does give you that perimeter alarm in a sense that even if you're like turning, uh, if you're backing up, it's gonna alert you if you're getting something around you. So it's kind of a, more of a perimeter sensing system uh, that comes with that package too. Also the twin panel moonroof. So this is a great moonroof that you can add. Uh, I mentioned earlier as the, the remote uh, windows includes the, uh, the moonroof if you wanna open those up, cool off, especially on those hot days, you can do that. Now the twin panel moonroof will come with the power sunshade as well as the power glass uh, that you can open up in there as well. Now let's talk about different seating configuration for the second row. Uh, standard equipment, as we mentioned, is the 60-40 split bench seat, but you can get an optional bucket seats. Uh, so that's great. The two different packages here, you can get the bucket seats with no console, and then the console is optional on its own. So you do have that. The uh, bucket seats will come with the power assist uh, backrest, so you just press the button on the side, it's gonna go ahead and, uh, and power the backrest down and then release the seats on the back so you can a little bit easier to get in and out of the vehicle that way and then you get the console. Now if you go with the bucket seats, you does require you to get the rear inflatable seat belts. So which is optional equipment for your bench seat. Uh, again, it requires you to get this with your bucket seats. So the rear inflatable seat belts will protect those two outside occupants from any kind of collisions there with those uh, that inflate to the seat belts. Now, it will be cost, it'll be added to your cost on your uh, the price of the vehicle, but is required if you get the bucket seats. Now, a little known fact, the bucket seats are not available as an option or the console for on the limited luxury package. You're only gonna have the bench seat. Not sure why Ford elected to go that way, uh, but that is not available with that package. So just keep that in mind as you're thinking about what other different features you want. Also, the floor liners. You can get all weather floor liners as well ordered uh, from the factory if you want to. They're gonna protect the footwells for the front seat as well as the back seat from inclement weather, rain, snow, and that kind of things on your feet. Uh, so that will be, you'll still get the carpeted mats, but they'll be uh, included all weather mats as well. Now we're going to talk about some Ford accessories uh, that you can order either from the, you know, when you order your vehicle. Uh, if you do, they're going to be ordered, they'll be shipped to the dealership. The dealership will install them for you because most of the things are just things they slide in. Um, or they can be ordered from your Ford accessories department even after you get your vehicle. So if you find a vehicle that has almost everything except for some of these accessories, don't worry, you can order those from Ford and then the dealership can put them in for you or you can put them in yourself a lot of times. Now I already talked about one of them and that's the floor liners. And uh, they actually included this as a, um, an option, not under the accessories, not sure why, but uh, floor liners are one of those. Now let's talk about the four on the outside the, uh, first. One of them is your wheel lock kit. So if you have these really nice 20 inch wheels, you're very concerned about them, it's gonna give you four locking nuts, one for each wheel that's gonna go in there and it has a wrench that goes along with it. Also, you can get your splash guards. So if you live maybe on dirt roads, something like that, you want to protect the bottom of those or the side of the vehicle, you can get the splash guards to put on the, uh, those as well, to kind of protects those uh, uh, on the vehicle. You can get running boards as well. So they're going to be a black running board, only uh, color available uh, as optional equipment, and they're going to go on the side of the vehicle, help you get in and out, especially those kids. If you have smaller kids, it might help them get in and out of the vehicle a little bit better. You can order the, the running boards on it. Also, the crossbars. They're going to be cr uh, black crossbars. It's going to go across. Uh, especially if you want to put some luggage in there you might want to order those crossbars to put on the vehicle as well uh, to be able to kind of uh, position those in there as too. Now let's talk about some features here on, on the inside of the vehicle uh, mainly on the back of it. Uh, one of them that you can order is a cargo mat. Uh, and that's gonna just, that's gonna assume you're gonna wanna fold those third row seats down because it's a bigger mat that go, goes back there and it's gonna protect the back cargo. So if maybe you, uh, you, know, you move a lot of things and don't use a third row very often, you can get that cargo mat and put it back there as well. Also, you can get a cargo cover back there. And that's again gonna assume those third row seats are down uh, and you can put, a, it's a retractable cover that you can pull back, protect the inside so people don't see the different belongings you have in the back of the uh, vehicle there. Also, you can get the rear, the dual headrest rear entertainment system. And this is not available with your 2.3 EcoBoost. Not really sure on why on that, but on the order guide, you're not able to, to order those together. 
So they will be separate DVD headrests. So they will be a better, bigger headrest, so they will be shipped to the dealership. The dealership will install those headrests, take out the old ones uh, for you, and then they'll wire those in to the, to, to the system there. So dual headrest means they can play two different uh, movies, DVDs, uh, whatever it might be, gaming systems, they can plug those in as well. They'll have AB cables that go along with those. I think they might even come with SD cards. So if you have videos on an SD card, you could slide it in there and they could watch those as well. So a uh, great system that is again optional for you as part of the accessories as well as these other features we've already discussed. So that's all your standard as well as optional equipment for your limited trim on the 2019 Ford Explorer. And don't forget about the warranties, three year 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty with a four year 60,000 mile powertrain warranty and a four year 60,000 mile roadside assistance. So that's gonna become standard on all your Explorers. Now do check out our website, lawmacarthur.com. There in each one of our vehicles, you can check for availability, schedule a test drive, you can see pictures, as well as a 360 degree walk around. It's a VR experience, kind of an outside as well as an inside perspective on each one of our vehicles. You can also pull up a window sticker on each one of the vehicles too. They're on those VDP pages. It'll be listed right below the pictures. And it pulls that up. Shows you all that standard equipment as well as optional equipment that was ordered on that particular vehicle. So real nice, you can look at and see what the original MSRP was. And that's really cool being able to pull that up right off of our website as well as really any other Ford dealerships website too. So again, check that out. You can see our great internet price is well listed there. It will include rebates based on our zip code. So you definitely would wanna call us to verify your zip code. Uh, you can call or send us a text message at 785-378-5031 or you can call us toll free 1-800-874-6316. So I hope you enjoyed this video on the 2019 Ford Explorer Limited. I have a special offer for all of our YouTube viewers and that's gonna be free shipping on any one of our vehicles to your door uh, as long as you live within the 48 states uh, and you finance a vehicle with us. We are very transparent about it. The, sh the shipping, it does cost us money. Uh, we do usually put a thousand dollar cap on that because of that cost. Um, but by doing, by financing the vehicle with us, we're able to get a kickback from the lenders on most of the vehicles. That occur, it covers most of the cost, not all the cost, but it does a, a cover some of that cost. And since we do uh, price our vehicles invoice minus rebate on a lot of our uh, vehicles, you're going to get a, a great internet price from a great dealership, and it's going to be shipped right to your door. So, uh, and you know that you're going to, we're going to know the product. Because of this video, you know that we, we know how to order these vehicles the correct way. If you're wanting certain equipment, we know how you, need, what you, how you need to order the vehicle to get the equipment that you're wanting. So definitely reach out to us. Again, you can call us or send us a text message at 785-378-5031 or you can call us toll free 1-800-874-6316. Again, thanks for watching our video. If this is the first time watching one of our YouTube videos, hit that red subscribe button down there. That way you can get subscribed to our YouTube channel and you can see some of this great content that a lot of these other subscribers have viewed. And if you hit that notification bell, you also get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. Uh, we upload about two or three a week, uh, not too many, so we won't bog you down too much. Uh, but as I will give you some great content that I think you'll really like, uh, just like this particular vehicle right here. So uh, I think you'll really like it. So again, uh, do that. If you did like this video, go ahead and smash that like button and let other people know it's a great video they need to watch. Uh, really helps out the channel and I'd really appreciate it if you want to do that for me. And then again, don't forget, subscribe to our channel. Leave any comments you might have down below too. If you have any questions about this, maybe you even want to leave a comment. I'd really appreciate any positivity. If you have any questions, something I missed, I want to know that as well, because I will make sure I highlight those comments so that everybody else knows, because there there's a lot of information here and sometimes I do miss some things. So let me know if I miss something, uh, if I need to correct that, and we'll uh, make sure we do that as well. So I'd like to be very thorough in this video. And I think I've covered everything, but if I did miss something, let me know that as well. If you want to reach out to me on social media, I'm at Tim Bartz on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, I love talking to uh, the different uh, people out in the community and we we'll get a lot of feedback. I talk to people and help them out. Even if it's a, per a vehicle they already purchased, didn't buy it from us. I have a passion for the Ford and Lincoln lineup. Uh, I, I really get to know it. I've been doing this for about 17 years and uh, I'm really not about selling a vehicle, but just really educating everybody. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. I'll answer your questions, even if it's something you don't get from us. Uh, if you purchase from somewhere else, or maybe it's your current vehicle and you have questions on, uh, feel free to reach out to me. That's what I'm here for. And I love to help you out. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Until the next one, we'll see you later.